Welcome back to an extended coverage here on Daybreak. I'm Brian Mays. Time now 7:51. Yes, dozens of homes were evacuated in Pflugerville overnight. We've been talking about that as rising waters crept into homes. KVU's Tina Shively in Pflugerville this morning with the very latest. And I hear you have a surprise for us, Tina. It's not really a surprise. It's just something neat we kind of spotted as we've been here all morning. And now we've got some sunshine we can show you. Well, not sunshine, but sunlight anyway. Uh, we're on Crystal Bend Drive, and I want to show you exactly how high the water came up. Take a look down here. This is the water line from where the water rose from last night's flooding. This is the first one. So this is probably the highest point where the water came. Take a walk back here a little bit further down. Make sure my cable is still going here. And this is the second water line. Take a look here. You can see all the debris over here. We've got some uh, fast food cups and all kinds of twigs and leaves and everything. Now take a look at where it's gone to now. All the way down there, past the light that we set up, and it's now kind of like a puddle. We've seen people walk through there with no problem. Uh, the distance from the roadblock on the other side is quite far away. I would say about 20, 30 feet now. Uh, so roads still closed off, not safe to drive in, I would say, but definitely uh, people walking across there now. But I want to show you some dramatic video from overnight of some evacuations at the height of when the water was rushing here. Austin and Pflugerville firefighters had to evacuate about 25 people from their homes along these roads. First, they took them out by boat, and then they took them over to a shelter by bus. Many people told us they didn't know that the water could even get that high near where they were because they were simply surprised by what they saw when they opened their doors. In fact, we also spoke with the Pflugerville fire chief, and he said he's never seen this so bad. He estimates as many as 20 homes could have some flood damage. Not usually. It's unusual. We have had problems in the past, but... You know, we don't get these torrential rainfalls like this, and because of the rain we've had earlier in the last couple of weeks, the ground is saturated, so it's all running off. So just a little hint of the power of Mother Nature and what exactly she's capable of. The good news in all this, Brian and Yvonne, is that no one was hurt during these evacuations here in Pflugerville. Back to you.